you need to talk to your son. I went through his phone. He was sending little nasty text messages and pictures to these little girls. Boy, how many times have I told you? No faith, no case. Do you understand? No faith. No. You mean no face, no case. Let me talk to him for a second real quick. This don't, this don't make no sense. That's somebody's daughter, man. That is somebody's daughter. Somebody. <laughs> Yo, yo, this is the illest raising boys over raising girls because you know you're trying to protect the female virtue. Um, uh, a lot of dudes will, will will share around that you're trying to, as a parent, as a father, to keep your daughter from being pregnant and off the pole by the time she's 18. Now, off of you know whatever, whatever oh, the sex worker, the web streaming. We saw this broad; she was like 18, 19, just real thick in it. But no, the irony is, is that when estrogen-driven creatures get upset about this quote-unquote double standard, we would like y'all to think about the guy that you married and had kids, or actually a lot of y'all. Y'all are with your second choice or the safe guy. But the guy that you wanted to marry and have kids, was he a kind of dude that talk, could talk broads out they draws? Or was he real respectful and none of No, no, because most dudes be gentlemen about it and don't try to make overly advances. However, a lot of these modern women, they're not, they're, they're not even going on dates, family. Like, you can go right to their house. or We've heard people driving up in their car and the chick's like, go park over here or go to this hotel. They charge by the hour. How she knows about it, it's an hourly hotel. We don't know, not our business. But the carne is, is that we do need to teach boys that there are wives and then everything else. R-E-X.